Hey guys, Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's Saturday, November 10th, and uh, it's the afternoon. We're doing a little work on the uh, on the money pit over here. So uh, I mentioned the other day that the uh, radiator was leaking on the tank on this side. So got a new radiator. I've inspected it. It looks pretty good. We're draining the coolant right now, and uh, you know it's not really much to doing this. I'm gonna change the water pump also. I'll bring you through the, uh, I guess, the finer points of it. So let me uh, let this thing drain down a little bit more, and uh, we'll get working. All right. So uh, I guess to get this fan shroud out, we got to take the fan off. We got to take the fan off anyway to change the water pump. So big fan wrench, 36 millimeter, and then. Just tugging on it, obviously, he's not going to get it loose. So you take a hammer. There you go. So the uh, the striking motion, I guess, puts enough of a, of a jar in there to uh, break the threads loose. I wouldn't really recommend doing that on a new water pump. Uh, you can give it a, you know, a couple slight taps to tighten it and usually won't loosen up on its own because it's going against the rotation anyway. Just rest that there for a minute. Alright, so I have to uh, take out this tank now this is a v10 normally the tank is mounted on the uh on the fender apron but uh i added a second battery to this truck using a uh, battery tray from a diesel so it wouldn't fit so this is actually from a, a 5.2 liter i took the uh the shroud out in the past and i made some slots for it and there you go so that comes out nice and easy just pull this hose off Okay, so I've got the uh, washer bottle out, the fan shroud, and the fan, and uh, it's still draining. And this thing's been draining for like 20 minutes now. And uh, it looks like from the bucket, it's a five-gallon bucket. It's more than halfway full. So anyway, I bought a lot of antifreeze. I have to run out and get some distilled water. They said it's the best thing to use, and that's actually what the manufacturer of the radiator recommends. So um, I just have to uh, get these trans cooling lines off over here and uh, lower hose and uh, I pull this radiator out. I take the belt off. It looks like Chrysler was nice enough to make it so the water pump can actually be removed without taking the accessory drive off. Uh, I guess we'll see in a minute. I guess I could always look at the repair manual, but sometimes it's more fun just to uh, work on your own. So I'll put you back on in a sec. Okay, so uh, Looks like she's still dripping a little bit. I've got the serpentine belt off, and now i got to take off the uh, couple of hoses on the water pump because it seems like the lower hose is still full of water or coolant. I want to try to get some air into the system to let it finish draining out so I can minimize spillage. I have the clamps off. I have this um, radiator hose tool here. So you just get, I don't know if you can see that, now, but you just get behind the hose. I guess, I guess you can see that. So you just get behind the hose here. Just kind of work your way around the hose. And it breaks the seal loose. And then the hose pops off without issue. down to uh, get some soldiers. Anyway, here's what the hose tool looks like. It's just a hook like that. I suppose you could uh, probably make something like that. Not too uh, not too hard to do. Uh, they have all kinds of different ones. This one just seemed convenient for the job. So, All right, let me, uh, let me get a ratchet and I'll start taking this water pump off. All right, so hopefully the camera doesn't fall. 
So I got my 14 millimeter socket here. A few bolts to take out. So it's got four long ones, three short ones. Yep. Yeah, not much spillage. We like that. All right, so that's the original water pump. Yeah, the timing cover's leaking a little bit, but you know what? Alright, so uh, I'm going to get a pan under here, get, cover up, the, uh, pull these cooling lines off of the tranny, and I'm going to yank this radiator out, so I'll put you back on in a sec. Alright, so I got the old radiator out, and it weighs a ton, and there's really nothing in it or really not much in it so I'm going to stick this thing on the scale oh Jesus Christ forty seven pounds and like I said there's nothing really in it Let's see what the new one weighs Twenty-three. So that thing must be clogged up with a bunch of junk. <laughs> That's funny because this truck never runs hot. So anyway, stick the new radiator in and I'll put you back on in the uh, anyway. One thing that is a bummer about an aftermarket radiator is the fittings for the transcooler line may not be the same. So obviously you see the old and you see the new on the right side. And the one on the right side, the hole is much smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the drill press, and I'm actually going to open these up a little bit to maybe about five sixteenths, because they're just about a quarter now, and you know we want to have as much flow in the transmission as possible. Uh, the other thing is I think this radiator is made of brass, um, which will be a good kaching at the uh, scrap metal place. So let me head over to the drill press. Okay, so I've already started to open this up to five sixteenths with the step bit. I'm going to actually going to go down a little bit with the 3 8 part of the step bit, which is right here, and we'll see how much wall is left. Um, if we have enough wall, I might open this all the way up to 3 8 so let's take a look. suppose that would work. But I might want to stay at 5 sixteenths only for safety reasons. 
because if that does break off that would cause a big problem let's give it a little bit more That might work. I think we'll give it a go with that. Okay, so now uh, now that we used to step it to get the uh, it started, we're gonna continue drilling. through and I am not going to grab that with my fingers all right so have the new water pump installed and obviously the new radiators in and the hoses are on belts on you can see the fittings there that I modified so all I have left to do is put the uh, fan shroud and fan back in place and uh, fill this up with uh, antifreeze and uh, distilled water. I don't have any distilled water right now, and it's getting late anyway, and I don't need this truck tomorrow. So tomorrow morning I'll go to the store and uh, get some distilled water, figure out how much uh, mixture I need to make uh, based off of what I took out. I have about, let me say it's probably about three and a half gallons. And then, of course, there's what's in the tank. So... Um, Anyway, I'll do that, and uh, it should be done. So uh, I've got some steering uh, work to do to this truck also, but I'll, uh, I'll do that in another episode. So take care, guys, and I uh, hope you have a good Saturday night. See ya. Hey, guys. Bronco Carl 92 here. So it's Saturday, October, November. Shit. So all I have to do is throw the uh, the, sh the fan, the, the shroud, and the fan. Yeah. Sh uh, all I have to. Do <laughs>